Tonight, we have to tell you about a woman we met that embodies everything this season is about. This is Carolyn Collins, a school custodian at Tucker High School. Two students told her they were homeless and hungry, and it was the beginning of a beautiful tradition. Liza Lucas has her story. On a typical school day, you'll find Carolyn Collins cleaning up after students, keeping Tucker High School tidy. But behind this door lies her true calling. This is my care closet for Tucker High School, where I keep all my supplies for clothing. This is Carolyn's domain, where she collects clothes, school supplies, necessities for kids who have nowhere to turn. These are babies, they want to learn, and you know, they, some are sleeping in cars, some are sleeping in hotels, and I just want to take care of them. Carolyn started stocking the closet three years ago after two students told her they were homeless and hungry. Little stuff for them to snack on. But it's the loss of her son, killed during a home invasion, that motivates her daily. I'm just trying to stop our young boys from stealing and killing, and because a lot of reasons they homeless and they crying out for help and love, and I'm trying to give them all they need in this closet, so you know they have to go out and try to steal or take from no one. Coats for the girls, since then she's kept the closet. Closet stocked, often with money from her own pocket. She helps 20 to 30 kids a year, but suspects the need is greater. I tell the teachers a lot, if you see a child always with their head down, with the same clothes on repeatedly, day after day, you know, let me know. In Carolyn's closet, students can take home items they need and walk away knowing someone cares. I'm doing something for the kids every day. It's every day. Yeah, part of my job. Liza Lucas, 11 Alive News.